Hi guys, it's Mina. I am flying solo today. <laughs> um, so forgive the sound quality. <laughs> um, I did a triptych yesterday. That was really cool and I really enjoyed it a lot. It was really pretty. And uh, I wanted to explore what I did there, that fantasy pour technique with, um, this is a 24 by 36 by the way, the fantasy pour, which is the ring pour and the straight pour kind of combined. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The color palette today started because I found a few tubes of the metallic cobalt blue from Artist Loft, which I love. It's kind of thick though, a little bit of gel. Water down. And then I also have this one, Bright Aqua Green from Liquitex Basics. So I wanted to see what those two were like together. And then I pulled in the Pearl from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. And then I wanted something a little bit more blue. So I started with this, which, is, which was it's just a mix of like a bunch of Golden's High Flow. And then at the end, I put in a little bit of no, this is all the this is like Cerulean Blue and the Ultramarine Blue from Golden's. Say, kind of wishy-washy. So then I went and I made a cup of my Liquitex Ultramarine Blue, which I love. And the, this one, such a nightmare. <laughs> this one was, what is that brilliant purple? Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple. And it was just, just this like bland, pale, bleh, purple. So then I started putting some of the Golden's High Flow in there in the, Dioxazine purple to darken it up and it just it was like weird. I don't know It just kept eating it and eating it and <laughs> So then I got mad and I just made up my Liquitex basics purple, which I love then I have gold and So that's the weird one the good Liquitex basics purple ultrine ultramarine blue pearl bright aqua green metallic cobalt blue and my weird cerulean blue ish color. This is artist loft white that I'm going to use as a base coat. I'm going to spread that out right now. So, here we go. Let's water this down a little bit more. This is very thick. So, seems like the weather is finally... This is like the first day we've actually had clouds. It's like a, a Simpson sky. So, this is that spatula from OXO. I do like it a lot, I have to say. It's very fun to use. Not that expensive either. It's just nice because it's not leaving like finger marks or glove marks in the paint. So anyway, after I, I pick out all the colors, I realized, oh wait, this is a peacock palette. <laughs> it was pretty though, I like it. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about that. I love that metallic cobalt. And the last time I did it, I used it with the metallic purple and another color that sort of like kind of dulled everything down. I don't remember which it was like a white or a, I don't think it was the pearl. But so that's why I kind of kept everything on the thicker side today because I don't want it to blend too much. I'm going to try that fantasy pour again. But in the straight pour parts, I'm not going to hold it from way up high. I'm going to still just do it close to the canvas. So let's get our cup going. Let's see. I want to start with a little bit of the ultramarine blue on the outside. It's kind of thick. And then just a little bit of the purple. I'm gonna go just a little pearl and then some gold. And then let's go with the cerulean blue. Metallic cobalt, nice thick layer in there. And then some of the, actually I want to put a little bit of the pearl in between. And then I'll put another layer of that. Some more gold. I'm gonna go back to the metallic cobalt.
as you can see at the moment. So, let's pour this. Alright, here we go. Fantasy pour. I like that. That's pretty cool. I want to pour another cup around that though, so I'm just going to kind of do it faster this time. So, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to start probably over there and go around, or maybe start over here and come around. Let's see. small one down there. And this one we're just going to go across. Excuse me, sir. You may even live. Okay, I'm going to thin down my gold just a little bit. Let's tilt this. This is really cool. There's a lot of paint on here, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Again, you notice I've ended the pores in the center, so I don't lose the center design, but I love this. It's amazing, and that's really cool, too. I don't really need all of this, but that's insurance. I like that part, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we're going to go this way first.
Okay, that's pretty cool. There's still a lot of paint on there. See what it looks like from up there before I do anything else. It's interesting. I like most of what's happening. I'm not completely crazy about this, but we're going to torch it right now and see what happens. Maybe we'll get some more cells up. And I know why. Hmm, interesting. Okay. This art is really cool, though. I love all of that, and I love this. And I like this, too. I like this part a lot. So... If I'm not crazy about how it's looking in a couple of minutes, then I might actually try to get some of this off and expand this a little bit more. But the solid space kind of matches this and this. So let's see what happens. The air bubbles. little cells in there starting so I think I'm gonna leave it like this that's it she's all done <laughs> so that was fun just a quick little fantasy pour. I like that term a lot. I realize, you know, a lot of people have done straight pours and ring pours, but I'm tired of saying it like that. So fantasy pour sounds a lot better. <laughs> such a pretty color palette. Heather Mater had a beautiful tutorial on paint mixing with uh, some of these colors. You should check it out. Very pretty. Okay. I love this metallic cobalt blue. It's so gorgeous. So. Alright, well that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Quick little <laughs> fun one. And uh, I'll take the camera down. 
and take some close-ups of my fantasy or how pretty those little cells are so the light out here in the morning when I'm shooting is very very blue so if there's a difference in the color when I take it inside it's almost a different painting versus when it's out here We're surrounded by all these green trees this part's really cool Very neat. And see what that fantasy pour, the, the straight pour and the ring pour, you get the different effects. You get the lines and striations from the ring pour parts, and then you get the more solid areas from the straight pour parts. You also get these really cool little effects. It's so pretty in there. Some cells starting to come up. Little tiny cells in here. That's a very cute one right there. I like this part a lot. This part's really cool. I enjoyed it when I was pouring that. <laughs> okay. This part's really neat. It's interesting. There's a lot more gold on that side than there is on this one, but it balances, I guess, somehow. A little bit. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll show you guys the dried piece.